Oh yeah, we having fun now. We got the, uh, we'll wait and pick up a barge. Look at that. The Illinois River in the wintertime. Ooh, wee, look at that. <laughs> Goodness. And we just stop. We just wait and pick up our barge. Mm, 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 mm. It is good. Making ice. And it's a. Uh, it's supposed to get down to. Cold. <laughs> Captain said. Don't say that. Nate, like <laughs> minus 13. Air temperature? I can't remember. Look, there's the eagles up there. Sitting on the ice. Okay. Everybody's worried about how I dealt with the weather conditions and if I had to dress warm. This is how I got dressed. But also, in delay time, I'm getting my workout on. My elbow, look, y'all. My elbow's in good shape. My elbow's in good shape. I am uh, back at it. Look at this. So damn sexy. I'm sorry, but damn. Right, come down I need to shave. Just in there. Need to shave. But the elbow is doing good. I've had people ask me about the elbow. Yeah, it's up to it's 99. No problems. No problem. I had some folks ask about this boat. This is a man. Western River's got some dandies, y'all. Even though this old boat, I tell you what, these guys take pride in this old girl. But look, I tell you, see how old she is. St. Louis built. She's a um, 145 by 35. I think that's all. I think she's about 150. But anyway, but she's old St. Louis ship built boat in 1951. This boat was built in 1951. She moved some tonnage. But I, I mean, really, these guys really do. She's old school, man. She's old school. She is an old school, big old single stack on right there. It's, it's a way they got the, it's, you know, it's a twin screw, but the way they've got the big single stack on it. She's definitely a unique vessel. She's an old school girl, man. But I tell you what, she got, they've got the, the electronic steering. She's got the electronic smooth steering on it. I mean, you see a stick's finger touch. But she's, uh, she got the rudder indicators. She really is a head deck, big old head deck on this thing. She's a, uh, I've always been impressed with this vessel. I rode her a few times. She, she's a good boat. She's a, she's an excellent boat. She's old school, St. Louis ship built boat, but she is, uh, I really do like the way this boat handles. She'll handle, we brought, I brought 20, I mean, she'll handle 20 on that lower, 20 load southbound, like a charm. She's a good old boat, but open wheel running up here. She's an open wheel vessel. She's really nice. I've got some video underneath of her, but really for running up here. Ryan, I mean, you're all clear. You want to start shoving She's up. ideal. She's, she's really ideal. I guess you have enough to make a couple. <laughs> I think we cleared it out pretty good there. I blew it out pretty good. I hope we make a couple pretty easy. Hopefully, that's the plan anyway. We got it done. Well, the guys got it done. We got another length on there. Head down to the lot. Look at that ice. Gee, neat. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too bad. It went actually pretty good for as bad as the ice is. Trying to get barges wired in there fighting that stuff. But boy, some thick, thick stuff in through there, that's for sure. For sure. Gee, my neat. 15 below wind chill out there. Not fun working conditions. So you want to be a tow boater. <laughs> Look, they got, they got getting it. That's some fun ice. Look at it. Cutting our path. They're rolling. <laughs> they got three long. We 600 foot by 35. We slicing through the ice. Look at that. Just cutting a path. Just cutting right down through there. That's something else. Something else. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. See the eagle out there, man. There he is. He was on the ice out there by the head. There he goes. Hitting the fish he was munching on. 
Bald eagles everywhere, especially down there in the lot. There'd be a bunch of there'd be a bunch of eagles around down there. They're getting this where the water's open where it's, you know, especially like where we've cut through. These eagles, check them out. They're all over around here. Short sleeve shirt, boy. It didn't even blow. It's a little cool for me to be standing outside. Eagle. Way too cool for me to be standing outside in that mess. Oh, God. Look at the wind blowing the stuff. Yep. A little cool. A little cool. Mm -hmm. That's a trip looking. I went in as soon as I start videotaping it. Got to, and I ain't even got to do my own job, man. Huh. <coughs> Made extraordinary. <coughs> Made extraordinary. Look at him, Shan. Star. <laughs> oh. Mm. Ah, oh, my. Dude, that stinks. I can't. That's, that's so cold. It's, I can't. It stinks. Oh, where did I go up here? Uh, we're gonna stop. He said the upper end of that guide wall. Like, you see them lower cells? Mm -hmm. Just, we'll get around there and just kill it out. I already got it knocked out. I'm just floating. That's unbelievably cold. Float forward. It's unbelievably cold. They lock in. What is it? The, the Mont Trader's locking down. He's a double. Knock his boat out, double. He's got a block of nine. But we won't catch that because we go off watch shortly. And uh, made extraordinary Shannon night to get us some steering time. Yeah. Doing my job for me, basically. <laughs> it's cold out, Shannon. Is it? Is it? It is, I can't. That's not even fair. The wind chill challenge with short sleeve stuff. You gotta do it with short sleeve shirt. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's worked. Oh. Mm -hmm. I make it ten seconds, dude. I mean, nasty cold out, but it is really beautiful. Star broke off. Hey, right, look at that. It's really pretty out. It's just extremely, extremely cold. Christmas. I mean, it is just miserably cold out. It stings. It literally stings your skin. Something else. Miserably, miserably cold. Ooh, they had to go out there and get us in here. Their welder tops off. Jeez, oh, it's cold. I will be probably. I will get up there and see what it's gonna be. A five foot to play with, so something should have been probably. Oh, pretty little lantern's lit. Mine still froze. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. 
That's what they they do need. Yeah, open full of shades up. Pull him up back here in the back. We uh, John Hartford. It's his eight. It would have been his 80th birthday today if he'd have been alive. And he's the one that wrote the song "Long Hot Summer Days." And if he was alive, they could write a sequel song. Trader to Johnny Cook. About the winner, Johnny Cook. Hey, uh, you want me to let you go in there first and I'll just come in there next to you like Bo, or you want me to go in there and then wait for you to come in? Are they opening the gates? They're getting close. Their chamber's almost all the way up there. All right, what's it looking like before I need to send the guys out there, uh, Star Brock? Second. About how long? About 30 minutes? 45? We're about ready to swing the gates now. Uh, all right, we'll start eating that way. I'll get the guys ready. Appreciate it.